Listen into this delightful experience of a fighter with a never say die attitude who despite failing once in the prelim stage didn't give up and walked into UPSC to live his dream. His success story has all the ingredients that go into the making of a truly inspiring story. Congratulations Pushpak on securing AIR 6 in ESC 2019 from Mechanical Engineering branch. Thank you sir. Pushpak, what worked for you in achieving such a good rank? Uh, so my preparation in ESC 2019 the basics had already been prepared in 2018 i had prepared for my mains in 2018 also so this gave me an extra edge over the other other candidates in mains 2019 uh, due to which i was uh, able to write the exam very well pushpak what were the deficiencies in your preparation in ESC 2018 that you rectified in 2019 So in 2018 my pre- uh, preparation was pretty well but uh, I, I did not have calm mind during my examination of prelims due to which I missed a couple of questions we can say just five questions because I had the uh, marks less than cut off by of just seven uh, so if I could had uh, gone through those seven to eight questions I would have qualified and I would and I would have got a opportunity to write the mains exam in last attempt itself Despite not clearing ESC prelims 2018 you still persisted with your preparation what was that self belief that you relied upon sir uh, i had already decided to give engineering services and i had prepared a lot in 2018 so i had faith in myself that uh, i will be definitely able to clear a clear ESC 2019 so i just went for it i did the mains uh, study as well and then started my prelims uh, study from july 2000 18 Pushpak what was your strategy with regard to attempting ESC prelims 2019 uh, So talking about 2019 prelims uh, so the paper was uh, quite different from the previous uh, years question paper so uh, this time uh, there was a need of calculator as you can see uh, many in many questions uh, a greater power was asked like d power 4 we had to calculate diameter from that so uh, i realized after 45 to 50 minutes Uh, after appearing for the technical paper that this year the paper is quite different and then i calmed down myself and decided that to solve the questions which i was thorough with and so that i could get a greater amount of marks so first of all i would uh, use to read what is asked in the question i used to read the data and see the feasibility if the question could be solved in the given amount of time or else i would leave the question so that was my strategy for answering the questions in the technical paper of the prelims how did you go about preparing for gs paper pushpak uh, so for gs prelims uh, many of the subjects are already done by the mechanical engineers uh, so i had the approach of uh, reading the textbooks uh, of the ies master uh, from that uh, i used to highlight the different points which uh, which were uh, understood by me and i thought they were important uh, later uh, while appearing for the examinations and before going the for the prelims examination i just read these highlighted points and gave my attempt how effective were ies master books in your preparation Uh, so for the mains preparation i had bought the ies master previous year questions the previous year questions the solutions given in this book are quite elaborate and at the same time they are short so we can see the step wise answer years and we can orient ourselves in this manner so that uh, we can write the structured answers in the question come answer booklet this creates an uh, impression on the examiner and we can sail through this and get, uh, get and edge over the other candidates and uh, secure greater marks pushpak there are certain topics in esc for which you do not have a single source how did ies master study material help you uh, so i had referred to the handwritten notes of the ies master and relying on that i had gone to my examination uh, the new subjects uh, so the much syllabus is not predictable so just uh, going through the handwritten notes of the ies master you. Uh, i went for the examination pushpak given the fact that it's pretty demanding year long preparation how did you kept yourself motivated 
so during my first attempt uh, i really did not have time i was just going on with my preparation i did not have time to think so in that phase i was around surrounded by all the people who were who were appearing for this examination so in that time i did not get got demotivated uh, secondly during my second attempt i had a lot of time so i used to read newspapers i used to go through uh, books autobiographies which is my hobby also and this hobby i could also write in the upsc daf which had me there also so these uh, these were my uh, strategies i also socialized a little bit with my friends by meeting them uh, though i had i did not have my social accounts active but i used to meet my friends and get myself calm down and i continued with my preparation how was esc 2019 mains paper 1 and paper 2 Uh, so if we look back at prelims 2019 the paper was a bit dicey and the questions were uh, set at a different level but uh, looking into mains 2019 the questions were pretty same as of the previous years only a difference in paper 1 was that uh, the tables were given in 2018 or in the previous year questions for refrigeration air conditioning power plant questions the required data is given in the question but this time the whole tables were given with long data due to which uh, i had to give my 20 to 25 minutes for just question selection and due to which i got lesser time to write the answers of paper 1 looking at paper 2 the uh, paper was quite predictable as uh, many questions had been already solved in the test series uh, and uh, it went quite well uh, but the paper was lengthy so we were not able to complete the full paper so looking at it both papers were well but uh, at a higher difficulty level as compared to esc 2018 pushpak what was your sequence of attempting questions in esc 2019 mains uh, so my order of attempting questions i had already decided in my test series when i was going through the preparation phase so i had decided to fetch more marks in less amount of time so for this approach i used to solve the questions which i i am thorough with so i used to handle 20 marks questions first uh, i used to fetch more marks in lesser time and later i used to look at the compulsory questions which were of 12 marks but giving less reward uh, so uh, later i would attempt the compulsory questions pushpak how did you go about completing the entire syllabus well in time uh, so uh, i had a cycle of about 2.5 to 3 months in this 2.5 to 3 months i used to uh, do all my subjects secondly my second cycle used to start with the uh, test series so with the test series i used to go with my second round in this second round i used to also jot down the different points which were important uh, and for the third which uh, after the test series i had a gap of 15 days uh, so in those 15 days i did my last revision and may uh, give uh, my main attempt uh, in the esc prelims examination how did you go about preparing short notes pushpak uh, so about writing short notes the candidate should uh, only write the short notes about the things Uh, about which they are not aware of or uh, about which they have not studied rest uh, they should uh, re- uh, revise from the notes itself as the ro- notes are quite refined so the students uh, should not waste much time in writing the short notes but they should make a different notebook for the questions which they have gone wrong or the uh, questions which they are making the mistakes repetitively so that these mistakes do not happen in the main paper and we can gra- get a greater score instead of getting negative marking pushpak How did you perform in IES Master Test Series? Uh, sir, in the subject wise test series, I used to get my rank below hundred. But uh, I, I, as I had already done my preparation in two thousand eighteen, so the full length tests were a bit easy for me. In the full length test, I used to get a rank below fifteen. Pushpak, what was your board in UPSC interview, and how did you go about preparing for the personality test? Uh, so i had the board of uh, smita nagarajan madam she is a is officer of the tamil nadu cadre uh, and uh, at the starting of my interview i was a bit nervous but due to the smiling face of the uh, uh, interview i got motivated and uh, i answered the two three questions which were quite predictable from my df after that uh, the interview went quite well how effective were the feedback provided by ies master mock interview session 
सर मेनी क्वेश्चन आज बाई आई एस मास्टर इंटरव्यू वर डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली रिलेटेड इन द मेन्स इंटरव्यू इन द मेन इंटरव्यू ऑफ द यू पी एस सी मेनी क्वेश्चन वर आस्ड फ्रॉम मी रिगार्डिंग द हॉबी एंड अ सिमिलर क्वेश्चन वॉज आज बाय स्मिता नागराजन मैडम वेर शी स्टेटेड दैट इफ यू आर गिवन अ चांस टू मीट अ ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटी whom would you like to meet so i had this discussion already done in my ias master interview regarding mr e shridharan the metro man of india so i presented the same example there and the following two questions were quite interesting from the panel uh, there the ma'am asked that if you meet mr e shridharan what would you like to ask and which qualities would you would you like to inculcate from him so in this manner the feedback from the ias master uh, mock interview sessions was quite useful and this helped me to predict the questions from the detailed application form pushpak at what point in time did you commit yourself for the preparation of engineering services examination Uh, sir i have done my bachelor's uh, bachelor in technology from mechanical engineering in vishwakarma institute of technology pune it is an autonomous institute so it is having its own design syllabus uh, during the course of the uh, engineering i got a lot of time um, as it was a autonomous institute so we were indulged in different activities during this phase uh, i had referred to different reference books as i had time and as the college demanded the examinations to demanded to refer the reference books so this helped me in the engineering services preparation uh, in my second year holidays i was just surfing through the upsc website in those days i learned that there is an examination known as engineering services i went through the previous year question papers i tried to attempt those subjects which were already done in my second year uh, uh, third and fourth semester i was easily able to solve those questions Uh, later i went through the different profiles or the different job opportunities which are made available in the engineering services examination uh, i got attracted to this job profile as the job profile demanded uh, learning new technologies and implementing them so i decided to uh, do engineering services uh, and become uh, irsme officer in my third year of engineering Pushpak generally it is considered that an exam like engineering services is a preserve of big colleges what would be your message to students from your college so coming from a private autonomous institute is it is a very good institute but uh, i also had this fundamental doubts initially that the people or the guys of iits and nits would have a greater technical knowledge as compared to uh, the people from the private college and other institutes but sir engineering services examination is all about hard work and it is about a little of smart work so if one does hard work and uh, it if he completes syllabus in a proper manner and in given, given amount of time so he can definitely go through examination with uh, flying colors um so answering your second question that what would you like to uh, tell the students sir i would like to tell the students that engineering services examination provides a great opportunity uh, in the coming life to explore new technologies and implement them and also you would be handling a big business of the government as a greater amount of budget is allocated to railways so there are a lot of more projects coming towards to uh, to the government bureaucrats to execute them so there would be a greater amount of work and many things to learn from it Pushpak it's a huge success how was it received in your family so it was quite uh, well received so my mother was very happy listening to the re- uh, result and uh, as i had got all india rank 6 so it was a great achievement uh, also my younger brother uh, is studying in iit kharagpur he was at the zenith of his happiness uh, and he also informed all his friends due to which many of his friends got motivated to uh, see through uh, the eac examinations and uh, the following days i had i was continuously receiving calls to congratulate me from my friends and my relatives Pushpak tell us a little about your father So my father uh, is working as a executive chemist in the head office of uh, Ma- uh, Mahajanko it is a state psu and it is responsible for generating electricity for the state of Maharashtra he is a chemical engineer seeing towards him i was uh, motivated to do a government job in a good way uh and this was all and he all he never forced me to join any of the jobs though i had received two jobs during my preparation phase one was from the mahajanko itself and one one was from the state water service commission uh though he helped me and he never forced me to uh 
join any of the jobs and you also kept me motivated during my phase of preparation pushpak from where you did your schooling uh, sir i have done my schooling from saint javes high school nasik sir it is a very great school the teachers over there built my foundation to receive stress and persist through all whatever targets i had so i would really like to thank my all teachers at this occasion pushpak how is your native place nasik Uh, so talking about my native place uh, it is it has a very good climate and uh, it provides a good opportunity to study as there are no adverse conditions and a candidate can study well uh, living at nasik so the nasik has a very a uh, lot of greenery and the grapes and the wine city over there is very famous anything else that you would like to highlight with regard to your preparation for esc Uh, so i would like to suggest the students while going for any examination let it be prelims mains or the interviews you should be calm as the examination comes after a year so if you are not calm you would not perform to the best of your and uh, maybe there are chances of not getting selected in prelims due to which you would not get an opportunity to write the mains examination further speaking about my strategy as i told in my earlier uh, asked question that i had three cycles before my prelims exam one was a three month cycle where i revised all subjects uh, religiously secondly with the test series and third was a 15 day final revision now in the second uh, while going through the second cycle with the test series in this phase i used to recognize the things which were very hard or the formula which were very, uh, different and uh, i used to uh, i used to use the app cam scanner in the app cam scanner i used to scan these things which were difficult for me uh, by preparing a pdf for each subject i used to revise these pdfs in the final 15 days due to which i was able to get through, got um, go through the difficult sections of every subject and i got confidence to appear for the main examination i practiced this in all the all two stages that is in the prelims as well as the mains examination pushpak we are so proud to have you here at is master we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors god bless you thank you sir